In this edition of Jeep 411, we're going to discuss some really important items if you're a new Jeep owner. So stay tuned. It's always good to get back to your roots. Buying a new Jeep has reminded us of just exactly how difficult it is to make decisions about what kind of equipment you need. In this video, we're going to talk about 12 items that we think are important if you want to be able to use your Jeep to its fullest. It doesn't matter if it's a Wrangler Sport S or a Rubicon or anything in between. Jeep Wranglers are very capable vehicles, but here are some items that will make them more capable and uh, protect your vehicle and allow you to have a lot more fun. The first thing on our list is a tire deflator. Uh, we're partial to the Rock Jock tire deflator. It works by removing the valve core from the valve stem, which makes for very quick deflating. There are plenty of other deflators on the market, so shop around. Uh, you're going to spend anywhere from $40 to $100 for a deflator. Once you've deflated the tires, it's important to be able to reinflate the tires, so some way to inflate the tires is important. You can buy a simple plug-in compressor for the 12 volt system in your Jeep for about $40. Uh, you can get a full air up system uh, that uses a compressor and tanks. Uh, or you can use a power tank, which is what we prefer, because it's quick, easy, and quiet. Uh, the range there is going to be from $40 up to uh, $500 to $600. A fire extinguisher is important uh, for a lot of reasons. It's important for attending a lot of Jeep events. Uh, it's a very inexpensive investment, uh, around $20. That's something you should always carry with you and, and have mounted in a location that's easy to reach. One of the most vulnerable areas of a Jeep are the rocker panels. So a good set of rock sliders is really important. The Rubicons come with an okay rock slider. They're not the best. Uh, they don't stick out far enough to really protect the vehicle if you tip into a big rock or a tree. Uh, so a more substantial rock slider is a good idea. There's several on the market. The one we're starting out with on our uh, JL build is from Rugged Ridge. Uh, we'll be installing those soon and uh, be doing a video on that. They range from about $400 uh, up to seven or $800, or if you really want to get extravagant and have a great way to easily get in and out of a lifted Jeep, you can go with Rock Slide Engineering Slider Steps and that's going to be in the $2,000 range. Another item that we've always carried, and fortunately we haven't had to use it very much, but boy, when you need it, it's really important, and that's a high lift jack. There's several models and lots of attachments, so shop around. Uh, the one attachment that we really like to use is the Wheelmate. Uh, that hooks onto the end of the snout of the high lift jack and has uh, plastic coated hooks that go onto the spokes of a wheel rim so you can quickly lift a wheel off the ground to do some road building uh, or if you carry a jack stand it's a quick way to jack the vehicle up put a jack stand under the axle and you can change a flat tire pretty quickly that way and very safely. Another vulnerable area on all stock Wranglers including the Rubicon is the engine and transmission oil pans. They're susceptible to rock damage and that can be a very expensive repair so we highly recommend getting an engine and transmission skid plate. The price range there is about $350 to $600. Or you can go with something like a full skid plate system that companies like Rockhard 4x4 and Artec sell. Uh, they both have steel and aluminum versions. And uh, that gives you the ultimate in protection and eliminates the, the relatively flimsy sheet metal skid plates that come on the stock Wranglers. Being avid off-roaders, we really like to go with bigger tires, and um, especially if you have a Sport a Sport S, you're uh, starting out on a 31-inch tire, which is not going to give you a lot of ground clearance. Uh, so we suggest going to a 33 or 35-inch tire. If you have a Rubicon, you can go up to a 37 because you've got better gear, gear ratios. Uh, the tires are going to cost you the $1,000 range for a set of five for a good all-terrain or mud-terrain tire, and there's plenty of good tires on the market. 
As you know, we do a lot of work with necks and tires, so we always uh, recommend the Nexon Rodian MTX. But the Falcon Wild Peak uh, and, and a bunch of other brands are really good tires. Uh, so shop around and, and uh, pick a tire that you think is, is going to work best for you. To better accommodate those tires, a 2-inch spacer lift will give you plenty of ground clearance even on a Sahara or a Sport model Wrangler. Uh, we just put 35-inch tires on our JL Sport S, and there's a ton of ground clearance with our 4-inch lift. Uh, we think we'd be fine with a 2-inch spacer lift. In fact, we think we could go with, easily with 37-inch tires and the stock fenders with the 4-inch lift. But a 2-inch spacer lift, uh, if you go with the spacer lift, it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. If you go with a spring lift, uh, like the super lift, the 4-inch super lift, and other, other products that are available in that range, you know, look on spending uh, upwards of $1,500. There are more expensive kits. But uh, you can get by for anywhere from $200 to, say, $2,000 with a really nice kit. Uh, in one of our recent videos, we showed you why a sway bar disconnect is important. You can actually go with a quick release pin or uh, something we're trying right now is a half-inch hitch pin, which we purchased on Amazon for about 7 bucks each. Uh, we have one on both sides to disconnect both sides. Very easy install. These particular hitch pins are typically 5 eighths of an inch uh, for trailer hitches, but on Amazon you can find a curt half inch hitch pin which has an, a sleeve that allows you to use it as a 5 eighths inch pin, but it fits perfectly in the stock sway bar uh, end links on the stock non-Rubicon JLs. Another important item to carry all the time is a tow strap, and you need a way of attaching that tow strap to a vehicle. There are hooks on the front end and rear end of the Wrangler JLs that you can use a, a strap to, but it's also good to carry a D-ring shackle or the, the easier to use and safer soft shackles. And finally, one of the important things, uh, fortunately these don't get need to be used very often, but if you need it, you really need it, and it's about a $30 investment, and that is a Colby valve. It's not uncommon in the rocks uh, or even in brush to catch a tire valve stem on an obstacle and have it be torn off. Uh, they're not particularly sturdy and it depends on the wheels you're running. Some wheels are a lot more vulnerable than other wheels, but if that valve stem is sticking out a little bit, it's vulnerable. The Colby valve allows you to replace the valve stem without removing the tire from the rim. Uh, you don't even have to remove the tire, the wheel from the vehicle. The instructions are simple. It doesn't take any tools to replace them. It's a really terrific product. Uh, we've been using them ever since they were first launched a couple of years ago, and it's a, a product that we highly recommend. So there you are. There's a list of a dozen items uh, that are really important to have for your vehicle to improve performance, increase safety. There are plenty of other items you should have uh, that we'll talk about in future videos, but these are items that are gonna allow you to get the most performance out of your Jeep and good bang for the buck. And you can look at spending between the, at the low end between $2,500 all the way up to six or $7,000 for these items. Uh, you'll have a great vehicle if you do that. It's actually going to be a little cheaper. Uh, you don't need to do a lift and you don't need to have sway bar disconnects if you have a Jeep Rubicon. So you're going to save a little bit of money if you have a Rubicon Model JL. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. It's really important for our channel, and it helps us grow and bring you more content. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.